What's going on everybody out there on the internet? My name is Dovik and welcome back to more Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Inquisitor playthrough. Today we are finally starting up the prelude to Shadow of Revan, which means a lot and a lot of flashpoints, or at least four flashpoints. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to uh, sp uh, yeah, I can't talk. Speak to A7M1 and then start up these fabulous missions. Let's do it. <laughs> Dark Lord, I consider it an honor to call upon a fellow member of the Dark Council in this matter. What's this all about? You represent the last, most vital piece in my plan to shake the Republic to its very core. I'd say more, but it's better we speak in person. I promise you, together we will change the face of the galaxy. Starting with the planet Tython. Alrighty, so now we gotta go speak to Lord or Darth Arcus. Are we still Darth? We're Darth Zemrix, even though it's Darth Knox. Which is funny because my female one, because I did the Instant 60, uh, she's called Darth Imperius, I believe? Which means she was like, she didn't really have a an affiliation. Like, if you're neutral or light side, I guess you get Darth Imperius. If you're dark side, you get Darth, uh, Darth Knox as your little title, which is pretty cool. Uh, speaking of which, do I have Darth Knox or anything spectacular in here? I don't have that in there. What the hell? Lord Zemrix, apprentice. We got Imperial Scholar. But, like, Darth Zemrix is, like, the best. Hello? I would like... <gasps> Lana! I forgot she was in this! Lana! Oh, this is when they gave her the weird wonky hair. <laughs> hmm. If I could carry a tune, I would sing of this day. What we are about to accomplish, the galaxy will forever behold with great wonderment. Hello there. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. After all, we've never properly met. Darth Arcus. Yes, a pleasure. In my capacity as Minister of Military Offense, I have repeatedly enjoyed the fruits of your labor. And this is my most trusted advisor, Lana Benico. The value of a great mind cannot be measured. The Dark Council is no doubt all the better for your involvement. Please tell me this flirt is with Lana. Perhaps we could discuss my finer qualities at some point in the near future, under less formal circumstances. Perhaps we could, Dark Lord, at some point, as you say. You've been invited here to perform an act once thought impossible, an attack on the Jedi Temple of Tython. Promising leads have been rare ever since Imperial intelligence was effectively dismantled. However, a source I personally trust has alerted me to a hole in Tython's planetary defenses. If we act fast and strike hard, it will absolutely ruin Republic morale. Annihilate it. And once we've taken the temple, what then? While you concern yourself with the assault, Lord Go will be tasked with keeping the temple secured. So long as we have control, we'll explore the artifacts and histories stored inside. Imagine all we can learn about the Jedi and the Force. Such information would be a great boon to the Sith. Indeed it would, Dark Lord. Your shuttle awaits. By the time you reach Tython, our first wave will have established a foothold on the surface. I'll remain in constant contact throughout the offensive. Succeed in this, and together we will have signaled the beginning of the Republic's most humiliating end. Glory for the Empire! Glory for the Empire, yay! <laughs> uh, 
you know, I had Kem Vol out just because I knew I was gonna make some like dark side decisions and I know Ashara wouldn't like that. So I'll probably keep Kem with me. Um, and we're gonna solo this flashpoint, correct? Yes, we are. Solo flashpoint assault on Tython. So this will be, uh, soloed. And I guess if I don't have Ashara here, flirting with Lana doesn't do anything? Like, she doesn't know, or she just doesn't get pissed off about it, so... I'd totally be okay with, uh, Zemrix ruining his relationship with Ashara for Lana. Probably not. I'll have him flirt every now and then or something. And then, once Knights of the Fallen Empire actually starts, he'll actually go for her because he hasn't heard anything from Ashara. That's how it's gonna go. Our initial strike team had hoped to secure the landing area by now. But enemy reinforcements have been hammering us with heavy artillery fire. There's an array of sensors out there guiding the attacks. Destroy them and we'll finally start to make some headway. Yeah? Alrighty. Let's see here. Where are my enemies? I wish to destroy them all. I wish to valiantly demolish each and every one of their dreams. Hope's dreams, they all fall. Because they are my enemies. Alright, let's do this. Maybe even a little bit of the Oh, yeah, you like it when I do that, don't you? <laughs> no, you don't. Okay. Well, I like it when I do that, so uh, prepare to die, buddy. Good old buddy, old pal of mine. Uh, let's do... I think I want to do this one first, and then I can just circle back around and go that way. Or I can do this one first, and then circle back around and do it that way. Uh, let's do this one first. It was kind of like a loop, so we go... Boom, boom, all the way over here, boom, and then three out there. That's that's how it's gonna go. You know what's funny? I just got off of Tython with my, uh... <laughs> my, uh, my, my, my Jedi, my Jedi, you know my Jedi, uh, Jedi Consular. There we go. Just got off of Tython with her. And all of a sudden, I'm returning as a Sith Lord to destroy everything she's known and loved. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? It's tragic, but it's beautiful nonetheless. Chain the lightning, destroy them all! <sighs> Before a night's end, the Republic will fall. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh look at those rhymes, brah! God, I suck at rhyming. Yes! yes. What have you said? Soon, I will devour you, little Sith. What? I thought you were gonna forever. I thought you said you were gonna you were gonna be my buddy forever, Kem. I I thought forever. What happened to that, Kem? You lied to me. <laughs> you make me so proud. Right, let's take out these troopers. You sir, you go down. Ooh, even this guy, this guy's gotta go. It's all Vanish. You're gone. You're gone. Vanito. That's not even a word, but you know. Whatever you said, Kim, I didn't. When your enemies meet death, it is my face that shall greet them. In hell? Is that what you're talking about? Like in hell? Or like you're the one who's gonna kill my enemies? Did you mean it more literally like that? I think you meant it more literally like that. Like not, not like hell, but. You know what I mean! You know! I know you know. Burn down the power! So I probably have to say that the Sith Inquisitor is slowly becoming one of my more, uh, my, my favorite classes. I know I say Novik's my favorite character, um, but at this point, uh, if you guys have been watching the streams, uh, that I've been doing live, or that I've, like, the videos that go up after I do them live, um, I'm actually really starting to like the, uh, Sith Inquisitor stream that I'm doing of Knights of the Fallen Empire, and uh, Zembrix and Lalix, I think, yeah, her name's Lalix, slowly becoming some of my more favorite characters, I know Nuvik's still my favorite, because, I mean, dual wielding, he's just awesome, but, um, like I said, slowly becoming my favorite, at least ability-wise, so, th like, sorry, Sith Sorcerer is my favorite. I like it better than the uh, Sith Assassin because I don't know. I just don't know. I like the idea that it's like one lightsaber instead of like the double-bladed one. The stance looks really cool and whatnot. 
as well as the fact that I can just bring down unlimited power as much as I can possibly ever want. It's beautiful, you know it is. You know it's beautiful. Plus the story is really cool for it. Gotta be careful, Zemrix might become my favorite character. Gotta be careful. Thundering blast! Of course, you know it's gonna it's gonna be my least favorite if Bioware goes ahead and uh, nerfs this again. If they don't learn their lesson, because they have nerfed this multiple times. It's literally not as strong as it used to be, but it's a lot stronger than it was previously. Pre buff, I guess. So if they nerf this again, then I'm gonna hate this class. Just realize that it's totally and utterly dependent on whether or not this gets nerfed. However, New Geek's still my favorite, and I think he will be my favorite forever and ever. Not really. Unless I do something really stupid with him, but... For now, I think he's my favorite. Oh, I got this, Lana. I got this. I got this, babe. I got this, babe! You don't even know me yet. I'm gonna call you babe. Cause I know. I know if I flirt enough. <laughs> Which is a weird thing with Lana. Like if you just flirt enough, then like the romance totally happens. With like the other characters, it's like you gotta meet the proper requirements as far as like what they like and whatnot. I just think it's funny. Oh yeah, there's a boss battle about to happen. Everybody prepare your butts. Prepare your butts, because he's going to come down from the mountains, I'm assuming. And we're going to demolish this guy. We'll start with a little crushing darkness, though. Just a little bit of crushing darkness. Maybe a little uh, lightning bolts. Chain lightning. Lightning flash. Thundering blast. Huh. Four storm for a little unlimited power action. Yeah, I know. I know. How could I forget that? I didn't. I did. I know. Believe it or not. Chain lightning. More unlimited power, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Cam, could you heal me? Maybe? There. I usually don't stand in the middle of those things though. I guess that's probably my my fault. I forgot Cam wasn't exactly the best healer on the planet. <laughs> and that Ashara actually does a better job. Uh, maybe we should take out the ads. Yeah, let's take out the ads. Chain Lightning! That's such a cool ability. I love that ability, Chain Lightning. How dare you! I'm just trying to kill your friends! Let me kill your friends! I'm not killing you! You should be happy. For now. Oh, you just got ignored, guy. You just got ignored. He's probably all pissed off now. He's like, oh, how dare you ignore me? Do a little affliction. Crushing darkness again, because that always helps. Wait for it. Chain lightning didn't work. Okay. We can still kill these guys, though. That's all that matters. <laughs> Oops. I forgot that was, like, a, a casting ability, so it takes a little longer. Like, you have to sit there. Um, lightning flash. Thundering blast. I love that, like, thundering blast went from, like, a, an ability that you sit there and use to... Uh, an ability, well, like, because of the, uh, the perks I have in my skill tree. It went from an ability where you just kind of sit there and do it to ability, an ability where you can, like, walk around and do it, which is pretty awesome. Like, literally, if, it used to be if you moved, Thundering Blast wouldn't work. But now I can just run around and do it. It makes me so much more mobile. Now I actually realized I need to get my Affliction rating up. Um, my Affliction? Is it Affliction? My affliction. Is it? No. A clarity. Sorry. A clarity rating up. Because I can, uh, 
Okay, I thought that was going to go do a cutscene for a second. Because it uh, lowers my, um, my casting times when it comes to things like Thundering Blast. It's going to make it, like, a lot quicker to shoot out. The only problem I have with that is that maybe it's going to make Force Storm and Force Lightning a lot quicker, which might not be a great thing, unless it's only with healing abilities, in which case um, I'm not a healer, so I don't need a clarity, but, you know. You know! Oh, hello there, Jedi. Prepare to die. With a lightning flash straight to your eyes, and then a thundering blast to go everywhere. With chain lightning, that can't hurt. Can it? Can it? Oh, what it will. It will destroy you. From the inside to the out, to the everything you could ever possibly dream of. I'm on fire, by the way. <laughs> and not in the good kind of fire. Bring forth the lightning! Chain lightning to kill you all. Dun dun. Sorry. I just randomly, randomly started thinking of the, uh, the Recess song, theme song. You know, the, the old cartoon Recess. It was like, dun 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 Yeah, that one. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. dun 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 I really hope I don't get copyright for that. <laughs> Watch me get copyright for that. Bring down the flesh trade of Zaka. What we gotta do? Last. This is how I do it. This is how I do it. Be afflicted. Feel your affliction. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ha <laughs> ha, you're dead. Awesome. Now we're just gonna heal up a little bit. Oh, as, as for the other companions, because I know I was doing a lot of the companion talking episodes, um, we're gonna wait until either I'm done with the uh, pre-Shadow of Revan, so like, uh, the prelude to this, so like, the four parts to this, the Forged Alliance and stuff, um, right before we go into Shadow of Revan, or, uh, into, like, right after we finish Shadow of Revan, I don't know. But we will finish those up, I promise. I know that the last episode was six minutes long. Um, <laughs> that was ridiculously short. I didn't think it was going to be that short, but I also didn't want to, like, put two of them in one because I wanted each to have, like, a dedicated video, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? I wanted each of them to have a dedicated video. That's all I really wanted. That's all I wanted out of life. To shock you and watch you die. Alrighty. That's done before. We've got three more. Uh, there's the one over here. Okay. When did they have time to set up these turrets? These were these used to be training grounds. These were training grounds, but an episode ago, but a video ago, actually. Two videos ago, because I did the bounty hunter. That's right. <laughs> Dang it, you guys always finishing off the enemy right before I can use my chain lightning. It's not cool. That's not cool. Alright, there's two more. We'll go with this one fought out first, and then we'll move in. Destroy those, do the little boss fight, then go in and do what we need to do. Finish up the boss fight, and we'll have finished the first episode of Forged Alliances. So tell me, do you guys like that I'm doing this all in one season, or should I move it? to a new season. Like, rebrand this as season 5. Like, Forge Alliance and stuff. That would be... I would like to know. Personally. Because, I don't know, I, I was really considering... It was a hard decision because I did it for the Sith Warrior where I, like, selected, like, every new DLC or whatever. Or I guess expansion was, uh... had become... Oh, what you would call it? Um, a new season. So, it's... A little, like, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea to keep it all in one season or not, because that's my, it's been my format, you know? But at the same time, I kind of like it. Saves you guys the trouble of not having to switch to a different season to know where we're going. You know what I mean? Alright. Throw that thing and kill you. Let's fight this boss. Destroy them all. 
I love the little black and purple lightsaber thing. It's like, it totally fits him. It totally fits him. For Storm! Seven years ago! Feel the force of my light. Oh, get out of there. He's gonna explode. He's gonna explode. Go for it. Charge it. Charge it. Charge it. Lightning cast. Atta boy, alright, where's the other guy? Oh, he's right here. I was totally ignoring that. Lightning! I hate how he, like, he gets all scared and then he goes invisible and stuff. He's like, oh no, they're gonna beat me if I don't stop this. I need to go invisible and send more droids their way. Coward. Face me like a man. Face me like a man! Oh, he disappeared again. Coward. Chain lightning, chain lightning, chain lightning, chain lightning, yes! I really need to get like a a better thing in my watch it for it. Um, I need to improve my casting time. Sorry, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, where is this guy? Liam Dentori, where are you? You know, before they did the huge changes to the story classes and whatnot, he was actually the side mission where, he, like. He trains you to lead troops, which is pretty cool, because they know that Jedi are going to be generals. You know. You know, it's actually hard for me to, like, visualize Jedi as something other than generals, because, um, like, literally, in Star Wars, the Jedi have always been, like, combatants, you know? They always fight. They've always been fighting something in a war, leading someone, you know what I mean? It's always a little weird for me. At least as far as we've seen, but apparently according to their history, they haven't. It's just like, what? What? I think we'll defeat him this time. Unless he disappears again, which I don't think he will. Thundering Blast, finish him off! Ooh, 63. Hmm, what do you know? Uh, did I get anything? Wait, what? Did you send the last batch of droids before we died? Or before he died? I understand. He honestly thought that was gonna stop us. It's not. Absolutely not. That's futile, but you know. See, the overrides. Those things are so suicidal. Suicidal bombers. That's what they are. Um, did I get... I don't think I got anything. Yeah, I didn't get anything. <sighs> oh well. Wish you got like more cool abilities, that'd be so cool. Yeah? I wouldn't expect to find the room unoccupied. Come at me. Come at me. You know you want to fight. <laughs> Limited power! Oh, you want even more limited power? Okay. That's right, dumb Jedi. Get close to me. Ah, that's beautiful. <sighs> there are more coming. Of course there are. Only two more, though. They're not going to survive. <laughs> and then you. You poor Padawan. Oh, you poor Padawan. You sent the Padawan after me that are way, well, way better geared than... Like actual battle one are. That's a little pathetic. I say pathetic, but I mean like tragic on everybody else's like on the actual character's part. Yes, I shall stand on the fire to feed <laughs> to fuel their fear of me. That's what I'm gonna do. Make them afraid of me. You stand on the fire and realize that you're not getting injured and then they're like, oh no! What? He wasn't injured by the fire. Then they get real scared, and then you take over their fear. Like, you just use your their fear to your advantage. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. It's uh, intimidation tactics, and it works all the time. You know, unless you get a stubborn Jedi who's like, I am not afraid. When in reality, they are. They just don't want to admit it. You know? 
Because let's be real here. Everybody's afraid of something. Complete access to the observatory. I feel like I'm going to get attacked if I do something like this. Deactivate. That's one of three. I, I'm totally feeling an like an ambush here. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You feeling it? I'm feeling it. Put the lightsaber away. We don't need it out for this. Where's the ambush? Up oh, there's the ambush. They're like, oh, we got him. And I was like, no, you didn't. You thought you did. You may have thought that you had to be in a, be in a rock in a hard place. But the answer is no. No, you didn't. But of course, I've got my lightning to get me out of here and the force. See, this is why. This is exactly why I would like to be a Sith, because I'd probably make myself like a dual wielding Sith Inquisitor. I would dual wield lightsabers, but still have all the lightning powers of the Sith Inquisitor. That's exactly what my ideal character build would be. That's what, yeah. Absolutely. That's what my ideal character. I, ideal. There we go. Character build would be. Probably with the voice of the, the uh, Sith Warrior, though. That's probably what I'd go for. Hello there. As if it wasn't enough to sense your presence. You seem to have a need to do everything as loudly as possible. Hey, you gotta announce yourself somehow. This is the Jedi Temple. You are not welcome. Leave this sacred place now. You'll not get a second warning. That's the problem with you, Jedi. I don't even give a first warning. <laughs> oh, bring it on, buddy. You leave me no choice. That's the problem with you, Jedi. I don't even leave a first warning. I give a first. I love that. That's a cool. That's just cool. Wait, destroy what he's working on. Ah, oh, yeah, so you destroy the Datacrons, and it, like, freaks him out. Okay, that's cool. I forgot that was an actual part of this. Well, really? So I'm afraid you're gonna have to, my friends. Sorry! I'll get out of the purple. That's actually really bad. Your presence here disgusts me. Yeah? Well, your face disgusts me. Jedi scum. How's it feel to know that all the work you've done in trying to damage me has done literally Jedi nothing? Knight fears no challenge. Yeah, well, you seem to be more of a consular than a Jedi Knight, so just saying. Oh, you know what? That would actually. Okay, that would actually work. Wait for it, come on, get destroyed, get wrecked, get wrecked. There we go, get shrekt. Punk. I'm destroying your precious your precious knowledge. There we go. Your precious knowledge is being destroyed before your eyes. What are you going to do? Yeah? Looks like you're gonna have to, bub. Prepare to face judgment! Ah, uh, no, I'm good. Me and Judgment, we don't really, we're not the best friends. Believe it or not, call me crazy. Sight is like. It's okay, Cam, we can destroy this, no problem. This guy's done for. No death. Yeah, well, I beg to differ. Considering I just killed you, 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 you kind of died. You kind of died. Anyways. That was that was pretty easy. It wasn't too long. Oh, never mind. That was longer than my standard Star Wars The Old Republic video. But it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. We hit 63. That's all that really matters, right? Right? I'm right. You know I am. Can you believe Tech Ops already remapped the secure comms? Talented slicers we have in our employ, though even they pale in comparison next to you. Ah, uh, she's flirting with me already. Pardon the intrusion, 
I thought you'd want to know the Jedi Temple is now fully under our control. We have a number of Jedi Padawans in our custody. Must be recent additions. They didn't know the first thing about fighting. What would you have me do with them? Ashara's gonna hate this. Watch, it'll be like, Ashara greatly disapproves. We should send a clear message. Litter the temple courtyard with their bodies. Or not. Straight away, my lord. Do they just not you care? haven't found it yet, Lord Go, because the blasted Jedi don't want it found. Keep searching. The temple and its mysteries are all ours now. Darth Arcus is indescribably pleased. When you sent me, you had to know the operation would be a success. I did have a feeling. On behalf of Darth Arcus, I thank you. This is a banner day for the Empire. Be proud. Aha! There we go, we did it. Uh, are these better? These are better, aren't they? No? No, they're not. Okay, never mind, I lied. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you're and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. In the next video, we're going to be uh, continuing on with Shadow of Revan. And, uh, well, yeah. See you guys then.